Hi guys, good morning to one and all. Welcome to Lakshmi Education. I am very happy to share this one. From today onwards, in our channel, we start physics basic series. Especially this physics basic series is very useful to all of the children who are at the learning stage of physics. Okay children, coming to the point. In today's class, we are going to discuss about the very interesting and important and basic part in the physics which is nothing but units and measurementation. Of course, units and measurement is belongs to the all science, science branches and very useful in the physical science. In today's session part 1, we are going to learn about that what is mean by measurement and what is mean by measurementation. What are called as physical quantities and what are the different systems of units we have and what is the purpose and importance of measurementation in physical sciences. Okay children, coming to the first one, what is mean by measurement? Yes, measurement, it is very familiar word to all of us. When you went to market to purchase anything, there measurement is necessary, it requires measurement. Even while we are purchasing, we use different terms like grams, kilograms, inches, foot, liters, meters, so, so many distance of uses. In case if you are in traveling, we measure the distance by kilometers. That means wherever you go, measurement is there. That means measurement is very useful in our daily activities. And second one, what is been my measurementation? Measurementation. In measurementation, there is an important technical word is there, which is nothing but comparison. Without comparing, we can't complete the measurementation process. Okay, children? So, I try to give the uh, clear definition to the measurementation process. The measurementation is nothing but comparing an unknown quantity with known quantity. Once again, I am repeating children, listen carefully. Measurementation is nothing but the process of comparing an unknown quantity with known quantity. This is about the measurementation. Okay, and next one, what is the importance and purpose of the measurementation in physical science? So, we remember one thing, when you try to understand any physical phenomena, we have to do some experiments. Already we know experiment requires measurements. While we are doing any experimentation, we have to measure different physical quantities like length, mass, time, temperature, density, so many factors we have to measure. In that time, measurementation is very useful. Clear children, measurementation is very important in the entire all science branches, especially the physical science. It is clear. And next one, what is mean by physical quantity and how can we define it? How can we define the physical quantity? We remember one thing, physical quantity means any quantity that which is measurable. And second, I am repeating, if any quantity that which is measurable, that belongs to the physical quantity. Now, I try to do the technical definition of the physical quantity. Physical quantity means when you try to measure any physical property of any substance, described by its number, described by any number, for example, a person has a mass 50 kg, the distance between the two, two places is uh, 30 meters or 30 kilometers. So like that, the physical quantity it consists numerical value into unit. Here numerical value is also considered as the magnitude. Once again, I am repeating, physical quantity P equal to numerical value into unit. So length, mass, time, temperature, density, these are all the measurable quantities that these are belongs to the physical quantities. Okay, children? Especially these physical quantities can be classified into mainly two types. What are they? One is fundamental quantities and the one is the derived quantities. Now I try to explain that what is meant by fundamental quantity. Fundamental quantity means those physical quantities which are existed independently. That means those are not dependent on any other quantity. Those are called the fundamental quantities. What are the examples? Length, mass, time. Here length, mass, time are called the fundamental physical quantities. And second one, derived physical quantities. How can we define it? Simply those quantities which are derived from the fundamental quantities. Once again, I am repeating the physical quantities which are derived from the fundamental quantities is nothing but the derived quantities. For example, speed, area, volume, density, whatever it may be, these are dependent upon the fundamental quantities. These are derived from the fundamental quantities. So, this is about the classification of the physical quantities. And next one and very most important one is unit. How can we define the unit? Simply, when you want to measure any physical quantity by comparing with the known quantity, that means the standard what we are used to measure the physical quantity which is nothing but unit. Once again repeating, the standard which is used to measure the particular physical property of the substance is nothing but the unit. For example, when you want to measure the mass, we have to express in grams, kilograms, uh, pounds per uh, mass, right? Length. 
for length centimeters meters kilometers for length and next temperature for temperature kelvin degree celsius fahrenheit these are the different terms what we are used to indicate the physical properties of the substance these are called the units okay sir then now i try to explain and clearly about the what are the different systems of units we have yes we have the different systems of units for example the first one cgs cgs system of units here cgs system of units means cgs refers to centimeter gram second actually this cgs system is introduced in the france this system is also called as the gaussian system of units here centimeter gram second are the fundamental measurements of length mass respectively this is about the cgs system and next one mk system here mks means meter kilogram second okay children this system is also introduced in france and this is also called as french system of units in this system meter kilogram second those are the fundamental units that which represents the length mass time and second fps system this system is introduced in the british this is also called as the british system of units britain this is called as the british system of units here foot pound second which are used to indicates the particular properties of length mass time respectively so these are the one of the three main fundamental Uh, systems of units cgs mks and fps and another one is there and it is very important that nothing but si system here si system is international system of units okay children so this system is internationally accepted that means wherever you go this system will follow okay children so in si system we have to remember one main thing there are seven fundamental quantities and two supplementary quantities now i try to explain clearly about the what are the seven fundamental quantities fundamental seven fundamental point is length mass time electric current luminous intensity mass of the substance once again i am repeating length mass time temperature electrical intensity luminous intensity candela electric current luminous intensity candela okay so fundamental quantity and unit and symbol these are the particular table we have here fundamental quantity Sim, unit and symbol length length can be measured in meter it is indicated by the letter small m and next mass in si system mass can be measured in kilogram the symbol is kg and time in si system the time is measured in seconds the symbol is s and the temperature in si system the temperature is measured in kelvin the symbol is k electric current amperes a luminous intensity candela cd substance mass of the substance mole mole okay children so these are the seven fundamental quantities which are from the si system and already i previously told now there are the two and their quantities are there which are called as the supplementary quantities children we remember one thing these two supplementary quantities are something different these are not derived from the fundamental quantities these are not derived from the derived derived quantities okay so then these two supplementary quantities have the some special properties what are they these two are dimensionless these don't have any units so what are those two supplementary quantities one is plane angle and the other one the solid angle now i try to define clearly what is mean by plane angle so look at here this picture in plane angle we observe that there is a sphere we remember one thing these two supplementary quantities that which gives information of the geometrical structure of the circle and sphere so plane angle that which gives information about the circle the angle existed between the radius to the length of the arc is nothing but the plane angle that means simply the exact formula of the plane angle is nothing but it is the ratio of the length of the arc arc to the radius of the circle here theta is the angle between them okay children so plane angle can be measured in radians one theta one angle is equal to one radian here in generally degrees can be measured in uh, angle can be measured in degrees radians minute second we use for plane angle radian and next one solid angle the angle the solid angle which is extended ex uh, subtended in the center of the sphere to its surface so actually solid angle that which gives information about the sphere that means the simple formula of the solid angle is nothing but it is the ratio of the area of the sphere to the area of the sphere to the radius of radius square of its sphere so this is information about the solid angle solid angle the unit of the solid angle okay children once again i am repeating solid angle the unit for the solid angle is steradians 
okay these are the two main supplementary quantities what are they one is plane angle and the one is solid angle plane angle that which is represented in radians solid angle that which is represented in the stereoters okay so then so this is about the today class in next session i will try to explain and remain more over concepts on the units and measurement thank you thank you